Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. It's time for another step on our quest to review every Rustlers thing I can find. We've reviewed quite a lot of different Rustlers things on the channel. I don't think I've done one in a wee while, but that's because they don't come out with anything new that often. But this is one which I think has been on the shelves for a little while, but I just haven't reviewed because it sounds honestly a bit jobby. So this is Rustler's Mini Sausage Bap. Uh, you see, you can add your own sauce. Oh my god, what a privilege. Otherwise, that means um, we're not going to give you the sauce because we're too damn cheap. Uh, made with 100% British and Irish pork though, which is always good to see. Uh, so yeah, it's um, Mini Sausage Bap. I've had a uh, sort of sausage muffin before from Rustlers. I think I reviewed that on here before. And um, that was quite nice. This is literally just a tiny wee sausage patty inside a bun. Um, don't even give you any sauce. Don't even have the courtesy to give you any sauce, which is really, really cheap. Um, so I'm gonna eat it dry, see what it tastes like, but probably by the time I end up finishing it myself, I'll add a little bit of sauce to it. Got my tomato ketchup on the ready anyway. I've got it over here, woo! Yes, as the classic tomato ketchup, because buying Heinz right now <coughs> is um, not on the cards. Have you seen how expensive Heinz stuff is just now? It's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, Rustlers. So let's read a little bit about this bad boy. It is flame grilled. Mmm, flame grilled to perfection. So this takes 40 seconds to cook. You put it in the microwave for 40 seconds, the patty, and it does actually say to pop the bun in the toaster, which is good. A lot of them don't actually say that. So that's the way I've done it. I've done it as according to the packaging. Um, and that's the way I would normally do it anyway. But when I review these things, I tend to just put it on the microwave because that's what it tells you to do in the box. Uh, so yeah, 40 seconds for the patty and then however long it takes in the toaster for the bun. And uh, there's your list of ingredients, a reasonably small list. I mean, there's no sauce. So there's no sauce ingredients, it's literally just a patty of sausage and a bun. Um, what else have we got? It's a 90 grams. And here's all of our um, nutritional information per 90 grams per portion. 244 calories, which feels like a lot for this, but it is what it is. Uh, fat, 9.4 grams, 3 grams of saturates, 27.9 grams of carbs. 3.9 grams of sugar, 11.1 grams of protein, and 1 gram of salt. <coughs> so for something so small, that has quite a lot of salt and quite a lot of fat in it. Hmm. But hey-ho. Hopefully that means it'll be delicious. We'll soon find out. So there's your box art, your serving suggestion. <laughs> Bit boring. There it is there, and that's what you get. Don't know if you can see the sausage in there, to be honest. Look how tiny that thing is. It's a tiny, tiny little patty. Uh, it made a really weird sound in the microwave as well. It was like a like like it was really properly steaming. Proper hissing. So yeah, it looks a bit measly, but we'll see. Uh, it was a pound, so I'm not going to complain too much. But let's try it. Let's do it. So this is Rustler's Mini Sausage Bap with nay sauce. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? Yeah, yeah. It's a chewy bun. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really taste of anything. It's very, very bland. Definitely needs the sauce. So we'll put a little bit of sauce on. Say a little bit. <laughs> put hundreds of sauce on there. Um, but it, it doesn't really taste of anything at all. It's... um. You, you can you can tell that there's flavour in the meat, but because there's so much bun and so little meat, you just barely taste anything at all. Yeah. 
Now it just tastes like cake chop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see the thinness of it, right? It's very thin. There's a bit of flavour in there, but really very little. <laughs> very, very bland. I mean, it's moist. I go over that, it's not dry. The bun is okay. So, I'll eat it. I'm not going to complain about it, but it's boring. Yeah, very boring. There are other rustlers which are a lot nicer than that. For what you're paying, I don't guess you can really complain. And the only thing I would complain about is the size of this box compared to how big the thing actually is. It, like rattles around inside the box. Which is really stupid because I know they make smaller boxes in this because the the rib one, there's a little rib burger. Rather than the long rib, you get the little one. And that comes in a smaller box that fits it perfectly. Whereas this was like rolling around inside it. Which is really daft and a bit wasteful, to be honest. But as far as the actual thing goes, eating it, it's okay. I mean, it's not going to fill you up. I'm definitely still going to be hungry after it. But... Yeah, just a bit boring, a bit bland. The fact you need to add your own sauce. It's sad. I want cheese on it as well. I want a nice bit of plastic cheese. Yeah. Well, that'll do for today. Thanks very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, whether you liked it or not. That's an order. Or don't, whatever, do what you want. <laughs> and um, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Is there any rustlers? I think there's a rustlers playlist, I think, on the channel. Have a look at that first and just and let me know is there any rustlers that I haven't tried yet that you want me to give a go? Because I'm always down for a rustlers, because rustlers, generally speaking, are quite nice. They're the top quality of microwavable burgers which isn't saying much but yeah I'm willing to try just about any of them so yeah that'll do thanks very much for watching that's finished and I will catch you in the next one see you then